Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another World's Worst Tattoos, where we critique tattoos that aren't very good. Let's just get into the video. This is World's Worst Tattoos. Let's do it! Hey, what's up? First, we're going to start with a good example of, um, you know, like expectations of a tattoo versus what you actually got. So this person wanted to get a tattoo similar to the Stand Tall Giraffe tattoo. Very nice little simple tattoo. And this is what they got. Stand Tall. Uh, <laughs> they got a slouching giraffe who looks like it's got depression. Stand Tall, but the giraffe isn't standing tall, so what? <laughs> What happened here? Why is the giraffe's neck so small? That's not a giraffe. That looks like a cow. It's like stand tall cow. It's a cow on stilts. Did not go over well, no. Sorry, but you should have made sure they could at least like draw it properly before they tattooed it on you. Ooh, here's someone with some knuckle tattoos, butt fart. Oh, it is Sunday. Looks like I can post this now. Anyway, feast your eyes on my awesome knucks that I got two years ago while drunk behind a Walmart in Texas by an equally drunk dude using a sewing needle and India ink stolen from said Walmart. Well, at least your tattoo has a good story. Butt fart, as opposed to what? Mouth farts? Most farts come from the butt, I find. Of course you got this behind a Walmart. It just makes more sense. At least this person is able to admit that it was a poor decision and they admitted they were drunk. At least they're not like, yo, look at my awesome nut tattoos, butt fart. I love these. So good. I would recommend this drunk dude with a sewing needle any day. His office is behind the Walmart. Oh, another knuckle tattoo. Fortnite. <laughs> oh, God. Honestly, I like butt fart better than this Fortnite one. And the words aren't great. Oh, they're all just, they're too, like, blobby. Oh, those are bad block letters. Man, this guy is really proud of it, huh? You really dedicated your life to Fortnite, didn't you? It's just not a good tattoo, and honestly, I played Fortnite. I enjoyed it for a little while. I got my first solo win, and then I retired. I never played it again. I was literally just playing because I wanted to get a win. And I got my solo win and I just stopped playing it and whatever it's a good game it's kind of a circus now there's a lot of shit going on in that game that's why I can never get back into it there's just too much to learn now but I do not agree with dedicating your knuckles to Fortnite if you are gonna dedicate your knuckles to Fortnite just get a decent tattoo artist okay that wouldn't have even been that expensive of a tattoo you could have got some nice lettering on there it could have been a lot better oh shoot someone memorialized will smith slapping chris rock in the face nice well i mean anytime some huge event happens in the world you know someone's gonna get it tattooed on their body it's only a matter of time there's gonna be like 50 of these tattoos in a year or two there probably are a bunch more they're just not posted all over the internet yet actually i didn't do a google search yet so Let's see. Oh, here it is finished, actually. It looks a lot better. I guess that was just the outline there. Or wait, no, those are those the same tattoo? I, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, here's another one. There are a lot of these tattoos already. Yeah, look, I found three already. So, so you see, it was bound to happen. But I just don't think any of these tattoos really captured the look on Chris Rock's face. The look of what the fuck is happening to me right now? Am I dying? It was like that whole part. While Will Smith was walking up, Chris Rock was like, Oh no, oh, oh, this is... He's gonna say something, no, and then you got the shit slapped out of you, damn. Did not see that coming. This was the moment Chris Rock realized that he really pissed off Will Smith. Gone to market. I've seen a lot of these tattoos, actually. This one's kind of cute, but out of all the toes, you lost your big toe? Damn. I feel bad for you. Couldn't have been the pinky or one of the middle ones, you know? One of my friend's uh, dads lost one of his middle toes, like a it was one or two of his middle toes, and he just used to use it as a party trick. He'd, like, grab his beer with his foot. You got the shit end of the stick on which toe to lose. Sorry about that. But at least you made a little joke out of it. Here's a cat inside a, a womb. Great. Is that, like, you saying, like, you're a cat mom? It's kind of creepy. It'd be even more creepy if you actually gave birth to a cat. It's just a little weird. It's like, how do I say I'm a crazy cat lady, but also have bad taste in tattoos? Here's a Shrek tattoo on an arm. You got a full sleeve in Shrek right in the middle. I feel like this tattoo probably started with Shrek across his arm, and he just, <laughs> he started to regret it and decided to make it a whole sleeve. I wonder if the whole sleeve is like Shrek themed. 
because that would be cool. Or maybe you're just married to someone named Shrek, named after the character in the movie, and you're just, you love that, you love Shrek. Someone might be named Shrek out there, I don't know. Yo, here is a bad panda bear bamboo tattoo. Oh man, that panda bear looks like his face is melting. The concept, like what you were trying to get, not that bad, but the execution is horrible. You know, it's a lot of just open space, so maybe you can just get it covered up one day, or maybe you love it, I don't know. You shouldn't, but maybe you do. Ooh, the Nike swoosh on a foot. Cool, now you never have to wear shoes. Sweet. Fuck shoes. Oh, this person also doesn't have to ever wear shoes. Yeah, fuck shoes, right? Am I right? What do they do? Like, protect your feet from debris? Make it so your feet don't hurt when you're walking around? Like, what? what is the point of shoes? Come on. I actually agree with this. You know what? I'm not wearing shoes anymore. Here is an evolution of man tattoo, which was pretty good for a while, and then this last man, I don't... <laughs> What is this growing out of his stomach? It doesn't look like a hand. It looks like a misplaced penis is what it looks like. It looks like, you know, that scene from Alien, like a, f a friggin' alien is popping out of your stomach right now. The rest of them were pretty good. I just don't know what happened. Is it good though? Cause are you guys like having beers at the time of this tattoo? Cause I feel like it got progressively worse as the drawings went on and then you see the border around it. Why is that borderline so jagged and you couldn't do that straight line? Why is that such a jagged line? It's just a straight line. If your tattoo artist can't handle doing a straight line, I, I don't know if you should be going to that tattoo artist. Here's a nipple tattoo of a cow and he's got a nipple ring and uh, you know what? This, this is pretty funny. I actually, uh, I like the incorporation of your nipple into the tattoo. It's pretty good. It's a bull with a bull ring. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> I can't really say much bad about this. It's not that bad. People won't see it unless you're swimming and you can bust it out at parties. Nina, will you marry me? That's when Nina realized you were illiterate and then said no. That's the wrong Mary. It's like Merry Christmas. Nina, will you Merry Christmas me? And uh, we'll end with a fan tattoo. He sent me this tattoo and he said, you know that phrase like a monkey humping a football? And honestly, I've never heard of that phrase, but you got a tattoo of a monkey humping a football. So good, good job. It's actually a, a very well done tattoo. So you wanted a tattoo of a monkey humping a football, which is something I've never seen before. But uh, yeah. Now it exists in a tattoo. Is that a phrase? Or are you fucking with me? Because I haven't heard that before. I mean, I kind of get it. It's like desperation. Let me look it up real quick. Let me see. Like a monkey humping a football. Energetic but useless action or a person engaged in such action. Okay, it is a real catchphrase. Well, I don't know if it's a catchphrase. Well, thank you for the fan tattoo. It's not that bad. I like it. And uh, anyway, that's the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Bye.